heartbreaking, massive raid ruins Obama. I can't believe what just happened. One of my favorite little stores to get gas, coffee and late night snacks such as scrumptious unhealthy hot dogs and nachos with that nasty fake cheese machine just got raided. Almost 100 stores were raided all across America and this puts a hot steaming drizzle of embarrassment on the eight years that Obama was in office. It was a rough day when Immigration and Customs Enforcement, ICE, raided 98 stores and arrested 21 people so far. It was a nationwide immigration raid that targeted 7-Eleven franchises who hire legal workers. The store franchise owners are facing jail time for their sick harboring of illegal immigrant workers. The 7-Eleven Corporation must not be happy with what their franchise owners did. 7-Eleven is a franchise-based business, so each store that is out there is often owned by different individuals. This is not a reason to stop supporting every 7-Eleven, but it is a reason to keep an eye out for illegal immigrant employees and call us if needed. The raid on 7-Eleven stores happened shortly after talks involving Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals DACA which was a present from the Obama administration. The raids on the illegal immigrant employees tarnish anything Obama did for immigrants. These must be the illegal immigrants that escaped Obama when he was on his deportation bench. Even though he deported a lot of illegal immigrants, the problem is that he also supported, in one way or another, the invasion of illegal immigrants. For every 10 deportations Obama had, he probably had 100 others sneak in. President Trump is being strong on immigration and doing it hard. He's allowing ICE to do their job and not getting in their way. There are talks that Trump may allow some form of amnesty to some of the DACA recipients, but those chances at amnesty will most likely go to the most talented, educated, and productive immigrants, as it should. Trump would also request the completion of his border wall along Mexico which would easily be a good trade in the long run when it saves taxpayers money by preventing mass numbers of illegals from entering and milking the welfare system. Part of ICE's raids included a number of arrests and demands. The demands were that 7-Eleven franchise owners must provide employee immigration status in 72 hours. That's paperwork that should, and could, easily be found in the franchise owner's office or the back room of the store. That's information that should always be on file, easy to access, and quickly provided in the event of an immigration checkup. The Hill reports. Immigration and Customs Enforcement ICE, agents targeted dozens of 7-Eleven stores early Wednesday morning, arresting 21 people in a nationwide immigration sweep, the agency said in a statement. ICE agents targeted 98 stores in Washington, D.C., Indiana, Illinois. Maryland, California, Florida, Missouri and several other states to interview employees and deliver audits. Businesses that hire legal workers are a pull factor for illegal immigration and we are working hard to remove this magnet. ICE will continue its efforts to protect jobs for American workers by eliminating unfair competitive advantages for companies that exploit illegal immigration, ICE head Thomas Homan said in a statement. Nine 7-Eleven franchise owners and managers were arrested in 2013 for harboring illegal aliens employed at their stores, among other charges. Wednesday's raid, which was first reported by The Washington Post, was described as a follow-up effort to make sure the company is staying in compliance with hiring laws. ICE said store owners now have three days to provide the agency with employees' immigration status. The raids come one day after a bipartisan meeting on immigration at the White House, where lawmakers discussed border security and a fix for the Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals DACA, program. The Obama-era measure allows certain immigrants who were brought to the U.S. illegally as children to live and work here without fear of deportation. This is the part where we say thanks, Obama for leaving us with an elevated amount of illegal immigrants. Maybe Obama deported quite a few illegal immigrants, but it seems like he brought in a lot more than the sent out. That number probably can't be measured, but it's time to reduce the number of illegal immigrants. It's especially harmful to the country considering how many don't speak English and how many more commit crimes. Does America need non-English speaking illegal immigrants in the country? Is this another stake in the heart of Obama's legacy? Is Trump cleaning the trash left behind? Mind?